I'm sweet and easy going. (laughs) I'm not sweet and easy going? You totally are. Thank you. It absolutely is. Um, What's great about the Dubrow Diet is not only do you have all your food lists and we teach you how to food prep, but there's a lot of recipes in the book that your family is going to absolutely love. And that way, you can feed everyone at the same time, you're staying on plan, and you're giving everyone foods they love. But you eat the foods that you normally eat. We tell you how to clean them up a little bit, but it's more about the time intervals in which you eat them. So that's a really important part of the whole thing. Also, something to know about the Dubro diet is it's user-friendly as far as schedule goes. Like, you might be thinking, wait, I love brunch on Sundays. I can't give up my Sunday brunch. You don't have to. It's very easy to turn the diet around and be able to eat at the times you want. You just have to plan ahead. That's a good question. Gosh, that's Because you're not really Beverly Hills. You're not Atlanta. I'm so not New York. You're not New York. By the way, I am so not Orange County. No. No. I guess... uh, He's going to be the the Real Housewives of Van Nuys. I'd be the Real Housewives (laughs) of the Valley. Maybe Dallas. Dallas? uh, Maybe Dallas. Me? I'm a Texan. I'm going to say Dallas. Do it my way. (laughs) How many houses have we lived together? we built like 12 or 13. We move a lot, so I think we've lived in 18 houses together or something like that. Our last house that we built, I had Terry sign every um, wood chip, every stone, every sample of everything because I wanted him to love it. And he still basically hated about 30% of the house. So when he threw this last house in my lap and said, oh, I bought this lot here, build this. I went, okay, I will build this house, but under one condition, I'm going to do it. Happily, he loves it. I love every aspect of it. It was interesting because as we're building it, I couldn't really see the vision. Oh, he'd walk in and be like, those uh, beams, that beams are so are too dark. dark. It's dreary. Yeah. She'd go, zip it, zip, <laughs> zip, zip, You know, so I had nothing to say about it. So you can watch my YouTube channel, Heather's Closet, and we're taking you on a full tour of the entire house. I did it sort of chunk by chunk so you could really see the details because so many of you have said to me like, where's the etched window? Did that make it in the house? Yes, it did. And I'm showing you that. I have to say, one of my favorite things about being on Real Housewives, and the thing that I do miss, is the girls' trips, for that reason. Because I never went on a girls' trip before I joined the cast. Is that crazy? So I had four kids. I'd never done girls' trips before. And all of a sudden, I'm on these girl trips, and Tamara would be like, come on, let's go do fill in the blank. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. And all of a sudden, I'm doing fill in the blank. We're zip lining. We're doing mud runs. I, we laughed a lot. We really did. That's the, that's the part that I am most fond of, that I think of, when I think of my time on Housewives, and that's the part I miss. <laughs> you know what was a fun party? Our book launch party for the last book. That was That fun. was a great party. We did it on key. Yeah. That was a really fun party. So if you want to be in a power couple goal mode, First of all, obviously you have to find someone that you really resonate with. And how to do that is find someone who has the same basic common interests. Find someone who's extraordinarily sweet and easygoing, <laughs> like me. That's how he describes himself. I'm like, honey, that's your TV personality. And find someone who doesn't sweat the small stuff. It, you have to not sweat the small stuff if you want to be in a power couple goal situation. You know? And someone you can work with. You know, I agree. If you want to work with them. And here's the thing. You can fall in love with anyone. So if you meet someone and... Th- no, no, this is what I'm That's saying. That's right. If you meet someone and they don't have on your list what's important to you, don't date them. Because you can fall in love with anyone. And then all of a sudden, you're in a relationship that you didn't want to be in. You have to be real about what it is you're looking for in life. If you you know, only want to live on a farm and this is your dream and you start dating a guy from the city, that's probably not going to work out very well. Keep dating. Put yourself out there. Always say yes. You know, if someone wants to set you up, say yes. You never know. Be open to it. And then finally, you're living in the dash, right? So here's your tombstone. You got the year you were born, there's a dash, and there's the year that you die. We're all living in this dash. We have a very limited amount of time. So find someone that makes you laugh, makes you happy, that wants to celebrate when everything is amazing and is there for you when you need a little pick-me-up, that's what you're looking for. That's you. 
It's you. You just described you. It's us. Love you. Thanks for watching. To subscribe, click here. To watch more videos, click here.